Hi gorgeous girls, how are you today? You feeling groovy? Feeling happy? I jolly well hope so. Let me pose a question to you and see what your response is. The question I'm going to ask, or the statement that I'm going to make, is that weight gain is not your real problem. Now I appreciate you might feel really fed up with your tummy or that lovely overhang feel on the top of your jeans, but it's not the real issue. How does that make you feel? Could I suggest that it could be deeper underlying issues? That the belly fat and feeling overweight is a symptom of something else. How does that sit with you? Disbelief? Or maybe you're annoyed. Maybe you're annoyed, especially because you've worked so hard. You've been on various diets. You've done loads of exercise. So how can it not be your biggest problem? Have a think about it. Step back for a moment and consider those words. Weight gain is not your biggest problem. There is something underneath, something that's causing it. The weight gain is a symptom. Now, I know that you've probably got so many stories going on in your head. Maybe you've got this story that you'll be happy when you've lost, what, six pounds, half a stone, a stone, then you'll be happy. Then you will get the job promotion. Then all the kids in your life will just be calm. That's what's going to happen when you lose weight. Maybe you've got this story going on in your head that you're worried about what you're going to eat next. What are you going to have for lunch? What are you going to have for dinner? How can you eat healthily and stay away from the biscuits? Perhaps that thought's taking up your brain space. Maybe you're monitoring your food all day long, exhausting, obsessing about your food, or maybe you're obsessing about your exercise, how you're going to get it done. These thoughts are exhausting. What do you think? Maybe if you're working from home, working, working on a report, or you're working with the kids, you kind of feel as if you're chained to the kitchen. You're drawn back to the kitchen over and over again because you're looking for some space, some respite. Maybe you've got this fridge scenario going on in your life. You're working hard. You're immersed, like a bit of drama. You're immersed in what you're doing. Perhaps you're painting fingerprints on the wall or you're involved in a report. You're totally immersed and then suddenly you realise, oh, I'm hungry or your head is full and you need a space. So you go to the fridge or the cupboard, whatever it is, you open it and you stand there. You look for something healthy. It's too many decisions. Do you have this? Do you have that? Or do you go for the easy option? There are too many decisions. You go for the easy option. Sod it. Why not? Okay, just go for it. I get it. And the clue is in those words. Too many decisions. By the time you've got to the fridge or the cupboard, it's too late. But anyway, let me carry on. So you have that quick snack. You satiate yourself. You feel comforted for a few moments. <laughs> and then the guilt, the drama pulls in. You think, why did I eat that? Why didn't I have any more self-control? So you start to feel guilty. Then you start to feel rubbish. You start to feel crappy because the food that you ate didn't give you any nutrients. So what happens? You get immersed. You start writing your report. You play with the kids. Five minutes later, ten minutes later, you feel hungry. You go to the fridge. You open the fridge. You get what I'm saying. There is this vicious circle. And as I say, by the time you've got to the cupboard or the fridge, it is too late. You are never going to resist. You've been busy. You deserve a treat. How does that make sense? To me, the negative self-obsession is what has got you there in the first place. The weight gain is the symptom. The problem, the real issue, is this negative self-obsession. It creates drama. Drama creates stress. 
stress produces a hormone, cortisol. Cortisol produces fat, <laughs> okay? The drama is what's causing the problem. That level of high persistent cortisol in your body is detrimental to your health. The chronic stress is making you unhappy and helping you to drive for the comfort. It's, it's part of human nature. So work on breaking that cycle. By the time you've got to the fridge or the cupboard, it is too late. Weight gain is the symptom of stress. Now, have a think about that. Do you feel that weight gain is the symptom? Do you realise that there's a deeper issue in play here? Does that feel true to you? Or do you just dismiss it? Either reaction is very interesting. Notice how you feel. I would suggest that there is deep insecurity, maybe resentment. Maybe somebody says something you, to you purely innocently and, and you take it the wrong way. That's a sign of chronic stress. Because you're in this negative cycle, this flow of negativity, this self-sabotage in your head, anybody that says anything is going to tip you the other way. So it could be completely simple. Now, you could spend a lot of money. You could go to psychotherapy, send thousands of pounds, hundreds of hours, and find out why that innocent comment upset you too much. Or <laughs> you could simply just coach yourself or let me coach you and find alternatives. Have a plan. A plan set up so that you don't actually go to the fridge. Does that sound possible? It is. Get in touch and create a plan. Help yourself to have a positive outlook on life. Recreate the scenario that goes on in your head. Help yourself to decrease the stress in your life. Gorgeous girls on my premier program have found that they have decreased their stress, they have a plan, they have an action, they are confident, self-assured, within 90 days, sooner for some. So, book in some time for yourself. Book some time for you. Let's have a chat, let's get down to the bottom, let's get to the nitty gritty, that insecurity that's driving you to the fridge or the cupboard. I know, you think it's hunger. Hunger for what? Let's find out. Take care, bye.